Well, strategist and tax attorney Rebecca Walser is back for Walser Wednesday. And as always, we appreciate you being with us today. And today we are talking about the new tax plan, the proposed plan from yes. President Trump. Yes, absolutely. Of course, it has to be passed by Congress, so it's not official yet, Natalie. Right. But basically, if we just break down what it is, and I think we actually have a graphic we can show people um, about what it is. But the first thing is, is that he wants a 20% corporate tax rate. Okay. And originally when he ran, uh, the, in the bracket you'll see 15%, that's what he had originally run on, and obviously things change as you deal with real politics. So now he's proposing a 20% corporate tax rate, which will reduce our corporate tax rate from one of the highest in the in, in, you know world. Um, the other thing he wants to do is he wants to do, he wants to lower pass-throughs, right now pass through like an S corporation, partnerships. The yeah. revenue is passed through the business and it comes to your individual tax return. And if you're one of the highest tax people, you could actually be paying tax at 39.6%. Oh, wow. So he wants to basically switch that and make all pass-through business tax at a flat 25%. 25, okay. Which is a little bit higher because again, he said 15% and running, so it's a little bit higher. I mean, you can see the negotiation that's already gone on behind the scenes mm -hmm. already, yeah. And then the biggest thing is, and people always say to me, Rebecca, you're always talking about tax, like we just talked about last week mm -hmm. about our tax seminar, that you're always talking about tax. What about Trump's tax plan? You know, um, you know taxes are going to go down. And I, I, I have to, I wish that the whole world understood what's going on here. Trump really wants to repatriate between two and three trillion dollars that are overseas back into this country. That's the 10% repatriation tax. He okay. wants to bring that money over back from overseas because he feels like it's going to create this economic boom for America, which it probably will. Most economists agree it would be a huge win for the economy. So. He cannot sell that, Natalie, to Congress and the American people if he just said, let's just cut taxes for corporate America to bring all this money back over. There's no way it would be called corporate welfare, as it's already being called. So he has to pair that with tax reductions for individuals. And that's why we have some individual tax reductions here. The truth is our taxes have been really low since 1987, since Reagan's tax cuts, and uh, this is going to lower them further. Okay, so we are talking about how this was the main focus of it, but it sounds like... Could there be some some confidence restored, at least from economic, from that standpoint, there is, right? I know what you're saying, absolutely. So right now we have, let's talk about the individuals and how does it affect us as individuals. Yeah, we know what the purpose is, but let's talk about individuals. Right now we have seven brackets, okay? So this is flattening seven to three, okay? Our lowest bracket right now is 10%. You can see the brackets here now are 12, 25, and 35. So people think that it actually he's raising taxes at the lower end. That's not true. What's happening is he's actually expanding the standard deduction. He's expanding personal exemptions so that the lower bracket actually at 10% is eliminated. And the 15% bracket that we have now is moving to 12. So actually his plan is to lower taxes for middle to lower income Americans. And we'd have 12, 25, and 35. You know, one of the things that in the coverage that I've seen so far is, is this is getting ready to go to Congress. Everyone's talking about the deductions. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about that, kind of break that down for people so we understand what's happening there. So basically one of the big deductions that's eliminated, it's been all over the news, is the state and local tax deduction. We call it SALT in the tax law world. State and local tax, that's what the SALT stands for. And right now if you itemize on Schedule A, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't, but a lot of people that have home, you know, own a home, mm -hmm. their largest item my deduction is home mortgage interest. That is the largest itemized deduction when across it America. Owning. Absolutely. The government encourages home ownership through this itemized deduction. In addition to the homeowner's mortgage interest, we usually deduct, like in Florida, we don't have a state income tax, mm -hmm. so we deduct our basically sales tax, and that's a state and local tax, and our property taxes. That deduction is eliminated with Trump's tax plan. Okay, so I, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought there was going to be more deductions. There's actually going to be less deductions because he's changing the different brackets of groups, correct? Yeah, it's kind and, of and a give and take is still all to be, you know, true, politicized true, of course, of course. and negotiated. But one of the largest deductions that he is eliminating is the state and local tax deduction. And that affects us with property taxes and sales tax. And if you live in a state that has income tax like New York, you would not be able to deduct your New York state income tax because that's an elimination of state and local tax so that is getting a lot of the news because people are like what do you know so yeah okay well i'll say i think we need a disclaimer again this is just a proposed plan at proposed this time, plan proposed but, plan uh, i appreciate you coming in and kind yep. of breaking it down for us yep. as always i appreciate the education aspects but if you want rebecca to join you and help you with your wealth walser wealth is where it's at walserwealth.com there's her phone number there's the website thanks again for coming in thanks natalie